In this in this lecture, we are going to export our model to Autodex robot and do the analysis. But the first thing we will do is we we'll kickstart our Autodex robot. I'm using 2021. It doesn't matter the version you are using. You can still have it. Have it. So just wait for our robot to open. So when our robot open, let's say we we'll make use of 3D frame. We'll open that since the design we are going to do is we are doing is related to 3D charge frame. So when you you wait for it to open, so when you open this, come back to your Revit and uh, under analyze. You should have this robot structural analysis. If you don't have it, then I have a video on how to you can download it and install it. Then you click on it, robot link. You send it. Send. We are sending it. It's exporting to robot. Okay, this is our model in Autodex robot. So when you come here, you here you can see section ships. So this is imported all the section ships. As you can see here. So when I'm here, the first thing I would like to do is let me click here. If you look here, the material is not is not is is not the British code standard. I will be using British code standard to do this design. So what we come to do, what we we'll do is we we'll come to tools, job preferences, other materials. You see that some British two seven five. Okay, then the codes are loading. We're using British wind load, we're using BS, our databases. This is what we are using. If you don't have it here, you can you can add it and then make sure you choose the one. Okay. For okay, you have this. So we we'll now select all of these. When you when we select one, right click, select similar by cross section. You come here, obtain this to 275. Select similar by Policy select similar 
by material okay the good changes to 275 let it change that has been done the polines select similar by cross section 275 okay according to BS standard so we can add our we can add our support we select the down come here to support so we want to add fix support that fix pin support close okay so this I want to add member for our we want to add a bar member for for braces geometry bar when you pick bar now this is the these are the members that are available we can add more let's say we want angles add and close Sometimes you rotate it so that you can have a view of what you are doing. Okay. Close. How can move this? Copy by cross section. Select by cross section. Then I'll come to edit. Edit. Copy move. I can pick this point and bring it here. Scoot and close. Mm -hmm. It was necessary. Let's pick or delete that. Okay. 
here. Good. Yeah, I wanted to do my braces in Autodex robot. So the next thing we are going to do is we'll create our panels so that we can do our load distribution. So we'll come to geometry and we'll come to cladings. We'll come to cladings. Let's good. On the cladding here. Let's say we use rectangle for this for these ones. Yeah. 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 You have that. The first side that you use is the X direction. I'm sure you have to also copy. So for now is we use contour. So immediately you close, you double click. So that it can be copied. So you select this, protect it, and I'll come to edit, copy from here, and copy this side. Good. Let's see. Good. Also copy this side. Just select. I can just sorry. Can just come to edit, copy from here, copy to here, or close. Yeah. So now let's define our loads. From here, these are the loads that came from Revit. Well, we're going to delete some of them, I won't delete all. Correct. So, this is I'll take this one as dead load. Now, let me add save weight, add dead load, live load, and save weight. Uh, that has save weight of close so for for the dead load depends on your so now this is this one is a self weight so for also add save weight come here then you click on save weight you click here save weight you apply then without closing you can come to your Dead load, dead load is surface. We we'll use surface area. Uh, let's say, let's say the dead load is Z. We we'll use minus 0 0.25 and select, select, okay, and live load. 
0 0.5 let's say we use 0 0.5 add bar and close Mm -hmm. I'm low. Right. So, but there's something else we're going to right click, display, panels, and FE. Let's see direction of load distribution. Apply. Good. Mm -hmm. So, first, we want this load to be distributed so change this thing to one way x let's see yeah so that the lose will come to these these columns select this say one way x good select this one way x let's see what we have yeah, the load will be going to the lines. So like this, one way X. Save this. Yeah, as all we have here. So the next thing we can do is we can do our automatic load combination. Just try it and see. Come to loads automatic load combination. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. Remove this. Now we can. Generate no, that, that didn't get didn't get that. Come to load automatic load combination manual. Next, uh, good select all. We we'll generate. We have these load cases. Well, let's the next thing we're going to do now is we'll generate our wind load automatic wind load generation we'll come to lows we'll come to wind lows yeah generate so we're going to use two directions x and y direction let's assume this to be 30 uh, wind velocity the bomb is a square select this control by thickness or material uh, I want you to copy this and we control V here okay if you, if you have information for all this you, you now insert and then you, you start
top. Okay, close. There is something we need to do for these braces. We we'll select these braces. There are some things we we'll need to set on them. Cross sections. All these braces we we'll ignore the analysis. Like we want, we don't. We we'll ignore the analysis on it and then we we'll select this and change the properties no we we'll come to releases for this one it should be pin pin we we'll select and so it should be pin pin and these two Cross section. Let them ignore the trapezoid and mm, the releases should be pin pin. Good. So Let's do our load combination and automatic load combination. You now come to load automatic load combination. Under automatic load combination, manual or using BS. Come here, remove this, generate, select. Good, we have generated. It has generated. All the load combinations for us, and we can save this. Think there's nothing left now. We can run our analysis. Escape. I have no error. Or some few warnings. Close that. Let's do these panels. Mm -hmm. So let's let let's go to to result. Come to result. Bars. Let's check our reactions. Mz. Based on these loose combinations, check which is the highest. Yeah, it is our reaction forces. So there are a lot of other things that. You can go ahead and check. So now we we'll move to design. So we'll come to here. See design. This. Okay. So let's see. So we'll, we'll, as we are here. We'll design we'll design this structure in group so we'll group this we're going to group these members they will select all this cross section
copy it copy this come here you call it for lines See, we use rectangular hollow sections. Okay. For well, here, this this cords, these cords are very long. Top and bottom cords are very long, but let's try to design it like this and see whether it will bring us funny members. Cross section. Copy. New. T. C and B. Cards. Still the same section that we use. Go for select this, this, copy. Group three. Oh no. Let's webs. Control V. Same sections, new alias columns, now copy columns. I will choose different sections. Okay, you can do same for for your braces. Depends on what you want to use for. So come to code group design. To my limit state. Let you this code these groups. You can create the group that you want. Ultimately, mistake. Okay. So let's calculate. So I will come out. All right. Good. Since we think we can work with this, our pole lines design with this columns top and bottom block. Mm -hmm. our co no, our, we did a mistake on this column. Choose two sections. So let's let's go back on the column. Let me delete delete selection. Good. Save OK.
guys guys I redesign all right so let's change all and this say good these are the members I have designed our top and bottom code as designed with this for lines with this you can close this yeah so so I have this this is updated and you know for trust for men for buildings like this before your your design you make sure that you are using 3d frame if you use this you get different it will be this the, it will not be designed as trusses or frames so it's very important as well you can see our members here from here now so now from from here in our next lecture we can now design our base thank you for watching